In this video, I will describe Lenz's law, a law that determines the direction of an induced current. Lenz's law has several steps. I will walk through each step and then state Lenz's law completely at the end. The first step is to describe the magnetic field. A magnetic field can be produced by a bar magnet like this one. The magnet produces a field that surrounds it and which the compass will respond to. The red hand of the compass will always point in the direction of the magnetic field. It points away from the north end of the magnet and toward the south end. Note that the magnetic field has a different direction at all points around the magnet. An electromagnet will also create a magnetic field. Here we have a battery attached to a coil of wire. This current meter will indicate the direction of the current. When I connect the circuit, a current runs clockwise around the coil and the meter's needle deflects to the right. The compass responds because the coil is creating a magnetic field. Notice that the magnetic field points through the center of the coil and arcs around the coil. The red arrow shows that the magnetic field is pointing away from the camera on the inside of the coil and the field is pointing toward the camera on the outside. The direction of the magnetic field depends on which way the current is traveling around the coil. This can be found by using what's called the right hand rule which works as follows. Using your right hand, when the thumb points in the direction of the magnetic field in the coil, then your fingers will be showing the direction of the current. In this case, the field in the center of the coil is pointing away from the camera. So the current must be moving clockwise in the coil. If we re reverse the direction of the current, the meter needle now deflects the opposite way. Now the field is pointing toward the camera. So the current must be moving counterclockwise. The second step in understanding Lenz's law is to see what is meant by the flux of a magnetic field through a loop. The flux of a magnetic field through a loop means how much of the magnetic field is passing through the loop. Here, the magnetic field is pointing out from this side of the magnet. You can see the compass responding to the direction of the field. Note that the coil is not connected to the battery. The only magnetic field is from the bar magnet. Some of the field is passing through this coil of wire. So there is some magnetic flux through the coil. If the coil is brought closer to the magnet, where the magnetic field is stronger, there is a greater magnetic flux through the coil. Out here, there is less magnetic flux through the coil. If we could increase the area of the coil, that would catch more of the magnetic field and there would be more flux through the coil. Another way to change the flux is by changing the orientation of the coil. When the coil is turned 90 degrees, there is zero magnetic flux through the coil. As I turn it back, the flux increases and is maximum when the greatest amount of magnetic field is passing through the coil.
Here is a summary of the ways that the field flux through a loop changes. You can change the strength of the field through the loop, like we did by moving the loop closer to the magnet. You can change the area of the loop, or you can change the angle of the loop with respect to the direction of the field. The next step is to understand Faraday's law. Faraday's law states that a current is induced in a loop of wire when the magnetic field through the loop changes. You've already seen Faraday's law in action. Here, the magnetic field is pointing away from the camera. This meter will detect current in the coil. Note that there is no battery in this circuit. As we move the magnet toward the coil, the magnetic flux through the coil will increase and a current will be induced in the coil. The meter shows that there was a current in the coil. As we move the magnet away from the coil, the meter shows the current induced because of the decreasing magnetic flux. Increasing flux, decreasing flux. There is a current induced in the coil whenever the magnetic flux through it changes. That is Faraday's law. Now we're ready to learn Lenz's law, which will tell us the direction of a current induced by Faraday's law. Recall that if you change the magnetic flux through the coil, you will induce a current in the coil. But we also saw that a current in the coil will create its own magnetic field. The right hand rule shows that this current must be going clockwise. If any current in the coil will create its own magnetic field, then even a current that is induced by Faraday's law will create its own field in addition to the magnetic field created by the bar magnet. Lenz's law states that the induced current will produce its own magnetic field that always acts to oppose the change in flux that it is experiencing. Let's see what that means. The compass shows that the field from this magnet is pointing away from the camera through the coil. When I bring the magnet closer to the coil, the magnetic flux through the coil will increase. Lenz's law says that the loop in a manner of speaking, will try to prevent that flux increase by generating its own magnetic field that will try to cancel out that flux increase. It does this by having an induced current that makes a magnetic field pointing opposite from the bar magnet. So in this case, the induced current must be moving counterclockwise. You can see the needle on the meter deflects toward the left, like it did before with a counterclockwise current. Moving the magnet away from the coil does the opposite. In this case, the field from the magnet, which points away from the camera, is decreasing. The coil, in a sense, does not want this field to change, to decrease, so it creates its own magnetic field, which attempts to build up that field, pointing in the same direction as the bar magnet's field. To make a field that points away, the right-hand rule indicates that we need a current in the loop moving clockwise. So, increasing magnetic flux induces a current that tries to cancel out the field. And decreasing magnetic flux induces a current that tries to add to the field.
that is Lenz's law. Lenz's law states that the current induced in a wire loop will create its own magnetic field that opposes the change in magnetic flux through the loop.